Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1978 to listen to Fall from Paradise by Little River Band. Really excited to get back into some more of one of my favorite bands from the channel. Uh, this one comes from the album Sleeper Catcher, their fourth studio album. The album hit number four in Australia and number 16 in the US. It was also certified platinum. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
Wow, once again, they completely blew me away. We start with this gorgeous but dark orchestral introduction that was so cool because usually with orchestras, you get this booming, glorious music, but this was so strange. I loved it. I got these really interesting vibes of, you know, darker musicals like uh, Sweeney Todd, Into the Woods, and probably so many others that I can't think of. That was really, really awesome. Um, there were shades of beauty, chaos, sin, doubt going on in that music. I really enjoyed it. And at the end of that orchestral section, we get these falling sounds. Really, really appropriate, really artistic, so creative. I've been getting that a lot lately. At least two other songs that I've done recently have had falling sounds, falling motifs to match the lyrics. Wow, I just love that. Um, I love the mysterious vocal echoes that were going on, I believe, on the words paradise and sister. Again, so creative, added so much to that beginning. Then the lead vocals kick in by, of course, the amazing Glenn Chirac. Uh, sounded amazing, such a unique tone. I could tell this is an important song, an important message, a uh, lesson kind of song. Often with bands, backing vocals are just that, you know, to be in the back, to support the singer. But in this band, I think those backing vocalists are equally as important and crucial to the song, that being B. Bertles and Graham Goble. Just amazing. I love what the three of them were doing in this song. They all sound equally as amazing. I love the multiple octaves that were going on as they were singing. Just an overall great sound, both musically and vocally. Um, an overall great slow groove to the song as well. So many rich musical elements, that's what they do. Like that lovely piano backing the whole song. I'm so happy that instrument was included. They didn't have to do that, but it just added another layer of greatness. And next we got that killer bass line going on. I heard it more towards the middle and the end of the song by George McArdle. I believe uh, this is the last album that he worked on with them. Uh, it's just so great to hear him shine here. I don't know if I've heard him before in the other reactions I've done, probably, but again, really, really stood out for me in this one. And yet another element. To top it off, we get more beautiful layers of strings, again, towards the middle and end of the song. Wow, I just love it all. That's why I love Little River Band so much. It's like they give me so much in so many ways. It's basically a musical feast, whether a long song, a short song, you know, a happy song, a darker song like this. Just beautiful, gorgeous, amazing work. Of course, they throw in some wonderful oohs in the background for a while. Again, such strong harmonies. The chorus was really shining for me at the end. Very, very strong. They really know how to invoke so much uh, passion and emotion within me in any length of a song, this being kind of a mid five minute song. Uh, for me, a sign of true musical masters right here. And even with those five minutes of darkness and glory, the song still flew by. I needed it to be three times longer. That was my wish. Of course, I'll never get it, but I can enjoy this song and so many others that I've yet to discover now for the rest of my life. Just what a perfectly strong opener the song is to the album. And then I see that uh, Light of Day, which I've heard, Reminiscing, which I've adored since the 80s, are both on this album. So I wonder, in the end of it all, once I've heard it all, is this going to be my favorite album? We shall see. All right, let's talk about the lyrics. I think the song is an account of biblical times when Jesus was spreading his teachings to the crowds. The message is of love, hope, peace, and resilience. The fall from paradise is to ignore the message, to act and believe on the contrary. Sadly, this fall has always been a path taken by many. To stay on the path of light will bear results of unimaginable splendor. All right, another priceless song by Little River Band that I already adore after one listen. This one's getting the Epic Platinum Record Award. So deserving for Fall from Paradise by Little River Band, 1978. Thank you so much, Glenn Chirac, David Briggs, B. Bertles, Graham Goble, George McArdle, and Derek Polici. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can tell how excited this band makes me. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this glorious song. I would love to know what you think about it. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Oh, 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 o